A while ago I made a simply incredible video about 10 reasons why I like living here in Sweden. But then I thought, fuck it, I mean the internet is way too, is filled with way too many positive things as it is. So I thought I'd make another video uh, explaining, you know, talking about 10 reasons I really hate living in this fucking country. <laughs> so for instance, between about October and March, most of Sweden for most of the time is covered in complete soul crushing darkness. The sun just don't show up during six months of the year, you know. Swedish summers are fine and Stockholm is lovely when the sun is out, you know. But this doesn't make up for the months of depressing shit that's being pushed down your throat during the winter months here, in my opinion. There's a reason Swedish people are known to just stand in the sun for a while during the spring. You know, every Swedish person is essentially a fucking Dark Souls character. Now, number two might have to, something to do with this darkness, um, because it's sort of, it's mirrored in the people as well. <laughs> it's a very known cultural thing here in Sweden that Swedish people have this sort of ice cold barrier around themselves, you know, that is very difficult to crack socially. This does not apply for Swedes living abroad, interacting with other Swedes, or Swedes in Sweden interacting with foreigners. So unless you're also a Swedish person watching this, this is like impossible for me to prove. <laughs> and if you are Swedish, then I oh, always. Um, but yeah, there's something going on between Swedes, or rather there's nothing going on between Swedes. It's good in the sense that Swedish people have very high respect for people's, you know, personal space and stuff. But, you know, r random interactions with strangers is a big fucking no, no. Most Swedish people would rather run a cheese grater along their gooch than have eye contact with a stranger on the tube, you know. Next one, Sweden is fucking tiny. And there's gonna be like lots of unfair stuff in this video, but fuck it. <laughs> it can't help it, but you know, size matters to me. It's obviously all relative. I mean, my penis is way bigger than a thimble. If you come from a town with a population smaller than the sub count for this channel, Hövde, maybe? I don't know. Then uh, Stockholm might seem like a big city to you. Having lived in London and Tokyo though, I don't think it is. I feel that big cities are the most open-minded areas. You're surrounded by so many fucking people that it's impossible to feel alienated or out of place because there's always going to be someone who's even weirder than you are, you know. So for instance, if I wanted to roll down the, a high street in London on, you know, roller skates, dressed as a banana with a jukebox playing the Swedish national anthem, shouting about how much I love my toast just right, then people wouldn't look at me twice. They've most likely seen something even weirder just like the same, earlier the same morning. If I did the same thing on Drottninggatan, however, I would be on the local news for the next month. The number four on this list is connected to this. There are pretty much no 24-7 corner shops here in Stockholm. This sucks the anus. One of the things I miss the most from living in both London and Tokyo is that you could just pop down the corner at any time during the day and then buy whatever you need. This probably has to do with the sort of excellent worker rights and conditions here in Sweden. We don't want to force people to work awkward hours too much, but still. I do miss being pissed drunk and being able to buy some Reese's from the poor underpaid guy on the corner, you know. Or to go there to top up on some beer and wine for the party in the fucking park. Which brings me to the next point. Jesus. Fucking system will log it, number five. This is number five? Yes. Now the idea behind System Bolaget is a good one, I suppose. But fuck me, it sucks. For those of you who don't know, it is not possible in Sweden to buy alcohol from regular shops like you can in pretty much every other country around the world. You can only buy alcohol stronger than 3.5% at a licensed pub or restaurant or at System Bolaget, which is the state-owned company uh, with a complete monopoly on this shit. This is as close as we are to the socialist nightmare here, you know. <laughs> so let's say for instance that me and my partner are in bed after some steaming hot sex and we both crave a post-anal white Russian, you know. Then my brother can't simply pop down to the corner shop and buy some Kalua. We have to wait to the next day when Sustian Bulagat opens, you know. Unless it's a Sunday, because it's fucking closed on Sundays. Mm. This sucks. Now, I might have lost some of you in number five there with, you know, the reference to me and my brother having some sexy time. But let me bring you back to the moist side <laughs> by bringing up the Swedish housing market. Mm. This shit is frustrating to the tits, you know. I slipped into this rental flat in central Stockholm on the biggest fucking rack maca you can imagine, you know. Most people my age either live outside the city or have incredibly rich fucking parents who have bought a, an apartment for them, you know. And if you want a bigger apartment than this one in this part of town, you will literally have to wait about 50 plus years <laughs> to get one. I went on a walk with my dad through one of these areas a while back and we talked about how literally the only people who were allowed to live there were people who signed up for the queue system S Corbier back in the fucking 90s. 1960s. <laughs> Compare that to me getting a place to live in London after looking for about a week, perhaps? Or like a month? 
tops in, Lo in, in Tokyo, you know? Now, I mean, sure, the London one might be shared with, you know, five other people, uh, one of whom is a mold monster that was born in the bathroom, and the Tokyo one might be, you know, 2.5 square meters big, but still, they were easy to find, at least. Now, number seven, uh, Felix Han, Grian can go fuck himself. Uh, number eight, this next reason is completely uh, uncalled for, <laughs> but I kind of don't like Swedish. It's, I don't know, I, or rather, I don't really like myself speaking Swedish, I think. I feel very sluggish and boring. I feel that in Swedish, I am not, uh, I'm not able to, you know, live out the suave, witty, bull-crushingly charming man that I know that I really am. <laughs> Probably because I grew up adoring British English. I'm just frustrated that nothing in Swedish can ever come remotely close to sounding as charming as you know, uh, Hugh Grant in Notting Hill. Mm. Uh, number nine, everything in Sweden is a bit too much by the books. Now, what the fuck do I mean by this? Now, this is obviously wonderful when we're talking about, you know, fucking law and order <laughs> and people behaving in, in the Tvetstuga, you know, but sometimes it can go a bit out of hand. Like, for instance, it is completely unheard of to imagine like a Swedish official, you know, going, ah, it's fine, we can sort of bend the rules a little bit here to just make this situation, you know, this car rental, for instance, or whatever, you know, just a bit more smooth for everyone. It's easier that way. That would almost never happen in Sweden. No, but this is like the rule, like the, uh, this is the way to, to do things, you know. It's a Swedish law, like something. Right. Oh. For example, it's common in London to see big apartment buildings with different colored front doors. There's clearly no set idea or rule for what it should look like. Uh, this is impossible in Sweden. In like an apartment building, no one would consider, you know, painting their front door a different color than their neighbors. If you did, you could end up in trouble with, for breaking the local trifselregler or some shit. Okay, now fine, I mean, getting woken up by your flatmate in London who's had nothing to eat for the last week, apart from injecting anthrax into his eyeballs. That level of fucking nuts is not ideal, perhaps. But I still think that Sweden could learn from that guy. <laughs> uh, just a little bit, you know. Let people paint their fucking doors, for instance. It won't hurt anyone. Or rather, the people that will hurt need to get over themselves real quick, you know. And number 10, Jante Lagen. Snopparnas pit pojk, fan alltså, jävla piss. Or the law of Jante, um, or whatever the fuck, I don't know. Du ska fan inte tro att du är något. Nej. Essentially, you're not supposed to think you are anyone special. Fun, isn't it? <laughs> Jante Lagen is a thing that many people in, in not just Sweden, but like Scandinavia have adopted. And it's very much, it's sort of seeped into the culture. It's everywhere. Okay, fine. Parts of it is great. Like you're not supposed to brag. No one likes a fucking show off. It's the polar opposite of American, you know, everyone's a winner kind of mentality. No, everyone is a loser. And anyone who thinks otherwise is an obnoxious fuckface. <laughs> you should behave and be like everyone else. Otherwise you're just a dick waving show off, you know? So essentially, apart from the free healthcare, uh, the free university tuition, social security, welfare, five-week paid holiday, and very beneficial paternity leaves. Uh, Sweden is just a horrible, horrible place to live. So hello, welcome to the end of the video. We made another one, fuck yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Here is some fan art that I have received. I don't know, I mean, I have received fan art. It's fucking crazy. Thanks, mum, you know. I think I have thanked all of you individually, but fuck it, thanks again. I'm very flattered, but I also definitely expect more in the future. <laughs> uh, here's also a list of people who have donated on Twitch, you know, through subs or gift subs or uh, bits or whatever. So thank you all, and especially to Freddy, the top donator, you crazy fucker. I'm still working on the sort of Freddy banner to go up behind every video, but um, we'll get there. Uh, okay, thank you everyone, bye.